Hi, and welcome to another um, unboxing in box review. Um, this time we're looking at the uh, Edouard limited edition dual combo. It's the 172nd. Um, there's also a 148th version, very similar to this. Um, it's the Adelant and Graf. I think I've said that right, or Griff. Um, somebody will tell me otherwise, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, it's a nice smallish box. Uh, you get a lot of different ver variety of um, decal options, which is great. Uh, kit number 2136. Um, got a bit of information on the side here. So you're going to get two kits in this one. Um, Misha Smith. Uh, so you can build a BF109E1, 3 or 4, um, and obviously it's focusing on the, the Battle of Britain. Um, plastic parts, you get photo etch, um, masks, and there's also a little bit of resin in there. In fact, there we go, 13 marking options, so you've got a really good choice there. Okay, let's get straight into the box here. And take a look at the... Uh, Instruction sheet first. Let's just move that out away for a moment. As usual with Edward, brilliant, uh, lovely, glossy instruction book. A bit of information here, uh, which is nice. Some great photos. It's good in different languages there. And then we've got the usual um, parts call outs. The other parts are not used, marked in blue. <clears throat> We've got a little resin figure here, resin wheels, photo etch, masks, and then the colours in the usual uh, Mr. Colour. I think, oh, Mission Models now, interestingly. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, then, uh, you know, pretty much like any standard 109 build, generally, we're going to start in the cockpit here. Photo etch belts, um, photo etch parts for the um, instrument panel there. Some lot of detail in this one. We've got some guns, machine guns here. We've also got uh, the a full engine. Obviously, here again, we're putting more photo etch parts on, marked in red, which areas you need to cut off. Sides come together, fuselage, covers. Um, be interesting to see how well um, the cover fits over the engine. Sometimes with these things, they don't fit so well. Um, there's a few, obviously there's some different options here for the different markings, so you'll have to be careful. Mainly I think it's the difference between the E1 and the 3 and the 4. Fairly standard build here. Interesting, even for this 172nd scale, we've got these flaps that can be look like they can be posable, so that's good. Although it doesn't actually say, but I'd imagine at least, you know, they're... They're separate, so I'm sure you could do something there. Um, we've got a lot of different glass uh, or canopy types, so you're going to have to be fairly careful to use the right ones for the right versions. There we go, a picture of the figure there as well. Then really the last few bits here, well, let's see, this is the prop going on, and then the undercarriage. Uh, masks for the canopy, masks for the wheels, which is nice. And then we've got a huge array in fact it's half the book is just the color call outs and obviously the decal placements for the different versions so you've got a lot of choices there which is nice Some with the yellow noses red stripe um, hopefully there'll be something there that uh, everybody will find interesting I'm not sure which ones i'm going to build yet we shall see and then the stencil stencils not a lot of stencils um, probably, you know, I guess being 172nd, yeah, they've kept it fairly sensible. I mean, these, this generally the World War II aircraft, I don't have quite so many anyway, but uh, that's pretty good. Now, we've got the plastic parts, all comes in one bag. Um, little disappointing because the clear parts uh, are not bagged separately. And as you can see here, uh, one of the clear parts has already come adrift. That's a bit a bit of a shame because I'd imagine I don't know if Edward box plastic you know pack these or whether they're packed because obviously this isn't actually an Edward um, mold um, as some of you probably are aware I'm going to leave that piece in there so we don't lose it um, in fact it actually says on here special hobby of course um, you would have thought they would have packed them separately but there you go never mind they must have had to put the two kits into one bag so anyway, never mind. 
Um, and obviously there are probably already reviews of the special hobby, so I'm not going to dwell on the parts for, for ages, but you know, wow, for a 170 second, that, that is incredible. You can see how well you can see that here, but there's all sorts of tiny uh, rivets all over the fuselage. You've got a nice detailed engine there. And the wing parts there, and they look nice. This, I was going to say flash free, but there's a tiny little bit of flash there, but nothing that, you know, it's going to cause you any drama. Um, there are locating pins, certainly on the fuselage there, and there is a few on the wings. But that's a nice sprue, relatively clean. Obviously, this is going to be uh, now they are subtly different um, here just checking I think it's just the wings so here you've got the um, for the E1 and then you've got the bulges here on the bottom for the 3 and 4 I believe I'm not an expert but I'm pretty sure that's the later models probably for the cannons um, and again then we've got two sprues again exactly the same with all the fine small parts um, now, even without the photo etch, this is going to be quite a detailed kit. Um, although there is absolutely nothing here on the instrument panel. Oh, yes, there is. Look, there we go. You've got two, in fact, which is handy. I guess one photo etch or decal, maybe. And then you've got one that if you want to go and paint it yourself. All these little parts look nice. Again, we have got a slight bit of flash here, but nothing that really is going to cause any problems. Um... Yeah, it all looks nice. I mean, I've forgotten how, I must admit, 170 second isn't not my normal scale. You kind of forget how small <laughs> some of the parts are. Um, but I still think that's going to be a nice build. And then this one's just a, a repeat. I don't think there are any differences uh, between those two sprues. Clear parts, hopefully not too scratched. Um, they look pretty good for the scale maybe a little thick but not again 170 seconds is to be expected I think but they're pretty clear clean again there's no real flash or anything there doesn't be anything nasty on there so that's good we'll leave that in the bag um, <coughs> we then got the extras so let's see what everything um masks i'm not going to take those out there head of masks Edward masks um photo etch there we go usual sort of stuff really um you've got bits you obviously a cockpit some grills bits and pieces there so quite nice pedals look a bit large look at the size of the instrument panel but maybe not. Um, there's your resin figure. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know how well I'm not going to... Actually, no, I will take it in the bag so you can get a slightly better look here. Hopefully you can see that okay. The detail is fantastic on that. And then we've just got a, two sets of resin wheels again very nice then we've got decals now i know there's a lot of uh, people out there saying the new edard edward decals aren't that good or i think it's a sort of love-hate relationship um i don't know i've not used them i guess i'm about to find out when i build this um may in the Czech Republic, so they're quite clearly not cartograph. Um, they all look quite nice. Colour, perhaps not the yellows, are perhaps not as vibrant as some I've seen. Um, but pretty good for the scale, I think. Interestingly, it's been cut rather roughly across the top here. I don't know whether that's because it perhaps there were saw stickers on there, although normally. Edward of Box and with swastikas, and I'm assuming this is what these will make up 
should you wish to use them. Uh, you have got decal instrument panels if you want to go that route. And then we've got two sets of stencils. Uh, I should probably have my reading glasses on to see them properly, but they look pretty good. Don't think you're gonna much problem with those. So all in all, uh, quite a good little kit. And um, if you shop around, you can actually pick this up quite cheaply uh, at the moment. I don't know whether there, there seems to be some offers on it. I was actually lucky enough to, to get this for 20 quid plus uh, postage. So quite a bargain. Um, you know, again, you've got two kits with all the extras. So um, yeah, I think, it, uh, I think it's gonna go together nicely and be a good kit. Well, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, cheers.